Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Ions Workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Windows 11 on an Apple Silicon Mac using UTM. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So welcome back. So there are essentially two ways of installing Windows 11 by using UTM or uh, by using an application known as Parallels Desktop. So if you are trying to game on Windows or uh, if you are trying to develop apps on Windows, consider Parallels since it is mostly compatible with Apple Silicon and also Windows 11. Or if you are just trying to geek around and uh, experimenting with Windows on ARM like me, consider UTM since it is completely free and open source. So let's get started by installing UTM. Here just open your browser and uh, search for UTM. Just click on the link and uh, here you can just download UTM or to contribute uh, to the project you can also download it from the Mac App Store which just cost $9 or 999 rupee here in India. So let me just uh, download it from the website and um, here as you can see UTM is downloading but as you can see I have already downloaded it. Just open the DMG file and just drag and drop this utm into the applications folder so actually i have already uh, installed it so that i'm not going to install it so the next step you need is uh, called as crystal fetch which you can find in the mac app store so let just open app store and search for crystal fetch and just download it so as you can see i've already downloaded it just click on open so you'll see a simple window like this select windows 11 select apple silicon and just select your language and edition i'm going to choose windows 11 you can choose enterprise or enterprise and then just click on download here just you need to accept the agreement and it will start the download so since i've already downloaded the iso file i'm not going to download it let me just stop the process so the next step is to create a new virtual machine by using UTM. Now to create a virtual machine in UTM, just open UTM here. And as you can see, when you first open UTM, you should see a screen like this. Just click on create a new virtual machine, virtualize windows and make sure this checkbox is selected which says install windows 10 or higher. And this should be unselected since we are using an ISO image. Let me just select my ISO image. And make sure this is checked to install the drivers after the installation of Windows. So alloc allocate your RAM here. So let me just give it 4 gigabytes and 2 cores of CPU. 64 GB is fine. And let's just continue. I'll just rename it. So you can rename the virtual machine to anything you want. Click on save and click on display button. Once you click on it, your virtual machine should start. As you can see, it might take a few moments. So just press any key in the keyboard to boot from the CD and it should just load the installer. See as you can see the installer is loaded, select your uh, uh, settings and just click on next. So if you have a product key you can just uh, type it in here but I don't have one and click on Windows 11 home. Then just click on I accept, click next. Select the drive which you have created uh, during the creation of the VM and wait for a few minutes. So it might take up to 30 minutes for this operation depending upon your drive speed. After that just click on restart now and your computer sorry your virtual machine should get restarted and it should boot into the installer. Here you just don't need to press any key since it, uh, it should boot from the hard disk to install. As you can see, it's loading. There we go, our installer has loaded successfully. Now, from here, you just need to select your country, I think so. Yeah, there we go. So, let me just continue from the United States and then select your keyboard layout. Just click on yes, uh, just click on skip, and after that. It might check for updates, it might take a while. After that, just uh, input your name. Uh, if you want, you can just input a password, I'm not going to. After that, uh, it might just uh, show the screen for a few minutes, then we will be logged in to our desktop. There we go, and uh, we are into our desktop. As you can see, the resolution is not quite good. Here we have uh, the automatic installer. Click on next. 
I agree and it will install all the drivers needed for the VM and this will also correct our resolution and uh, sound drivers problem it will also uh, make the network available so you can browse the internet on this VM it might take a few minutes after the installation you can just click on reboot now and uh, just click on finish and your VM should reboot and this time you should be greeted into the desktop with a much nicer resolution and uh, I think you should also get the chime as you can see after the reboot the network sound and the display resolution is quite good and everything is set up and working now it's your turn to uh, do some experimental stuff with this uh, operating system that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye